All right, hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another video. So, chapter three released of Fortnite, and as usual, Fortnite broke porting because of its update to Unreal Engine 5. U model no longer works, meaning we have to port a different way. Luckily for us, it's not that different. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to port using F model instead of U model. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description, and it's going to take you to this site right here. So then you just want to click on this x86 button right here next to Windows. Now I've already installed this, so I'm just not going to install it again because I don't need to. So it you can just run it like a normal installer. It's, it's just like installing any other app. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description, and I'll take you to GitHub link right here. And GitHub's confusing to people who don't use it, so I will be showing how to actually install this because you know it's not it's not very simple. GitHub's really weird. So what you want to do is click on this thing that says tags right here, and then you just want to download whichever one is the latest one. So in that case, this is 4.1.0.1, which came out two days ago. So you want to click right here, and then you just want to scroll down to fmodel.zip and download this. I've already downloaded it before, as you can see. And then I just have this opened up in 7-zip. You can use WinRAR, you can use 7-zip, you can even use the default zip extractor inside of Windows if you want, but I just use 7-zip because I think it's the fastest. And then you just want to drag this onto your desktop or wherever you want to keep it. I'm just going to use my desktop because it's the easiest way to show it. So now I'm just going to open up this. And it's going to automatically find where your Fortnite packs are located. If it doesn't, you could just put in your packs directory. Okay, so once you're in here, there's a few settings you want to change first. So just go on to the settings area. So first thing you want to do is set your UE version to the latest one. That would be this one right here. Then you just want to press OK. And then it'll tell you to restart. Let it restart really quickly. Here we are again. And then you also want to go to your assets auto make sure all of these are checked on. All right, once you're done with that, set the loading mode to all and press load. Then we just wanna open up Fortnite game, content, and here you go. You can see everything's here, just like it would be a new model. So in this case, I'm just gonna port the Spider-Man skin. I'm gonna go to characters and then player, and then male, medium, bodies. I'm gonna scroll really far down. And here's Spider-Man right here, Parallel Comic. I'm gonna open up this. And then we can just right click, press Extract Folders Assets. It'll then extract everything, as you can see down here, it's extracting all textures. Then we just wanna press Save All Loaded Models, and then just select our desktop, or wherever you want it to be. And then you'll create a folder right here. And basically this is gonna have everything in it, the textures and the models and everything. So next step is in Blender. All right, so now you just wanna click on the third link in the description and then I'll get you the installation file for Blender. So here we are in Blender 3.0. I'm actually running it through Steam. You can technically install on Steam if you want. I just like the Steam version because it auto updates and because I really don't like uh, updating things manually. I'm lazy, okay? All right, so once you're in here, I'm just gonna delete all of these right here, so I'm gonna select them all, press X on my keyboard, and then press delete. Now, you wanna click on the fourth link in the description, that'll download the PSK importer add-on. And once you've installed that file, you just wanna to go to edit, preferences, add-ons, install, and then there you can find the add-on, which in this case, you wanna install the one that says 280 on the end. That's the one you want. Don't install the 2701. Then when you've done that, go to the search bar, type in PSK, and then find this import, export, import, Unreal Skeleton Mesh, and then you just wanna make sure this is checked on. Then you can close out of your add-ons, then you can close out of your add-ons, and then now we can go File, Import, PSK, and then you just wanna find that folder on your desktop, Game, Characters, Player, Mail, Medium, Bodies, Parallel Comic, and then go to your Meshes folder, and then here we have all the different meshes. This is his body. And then inside of parts, we have his head. So I'll first import the body. Also recommend pressing reorient bones. You don't have to do this, but it's really useful and it makes all the bones like rotated in the right direction, which I really think, which I highly recommend. Okay, so once I have this selected, I'm just gonna press import PSK. And then I'll go straight to import 
PSK and then it'll import the head as well. All right, so now we can zoom in here and as you can see, we have Spider-Man. So he is a little bit blocky looking and he's gray. How do we fix this? First of all, fix the blockiness. We're gonna right, we're gonna select his head and his body by shift clicking and right click, press shade smooth. And then we're gonna go to this tab right here. This is the one that shows textures. And it's gonna look a little bit weird now. It's now completely white instead of gray. And you just wanna left click this clock button right here and press shader editor. Then let's just expand this by scrolling up a little bit. We're gonna turn on use nodes. Then we can zoom in right here. So here we are in the node editor. This is gonna be a little bit confusing, but as long as you follow the tutorial, this should be pretty simple. So first of all, first thing you wanna do is delete this principled BSDF by selecting it, pressing X on the keyboard. Now you can see the body goes black. We'll zoom out a little bit here so you can see that. So next you wanna click on the fourth thing in the description and then I'll download the FN standard shader 1.5.blend. This is what I'm gonna be using to texture the skin. So once you download that, you just wanna to go to file, append and then locate that dot blend in that case that would be on my d drive inside of my shaders folder over here so here it is then you don't want to just straight up press append you want to double click it again go to node tree and then click on this one inside here press append now you want to click on this add button press search and type in fn and you see fn advanced shader 1.5 we're going to click this and I'm just gonna drag it over here. If you wanna be precise, you can hold down control and that'll like snap things into place, which I just like because it's more satisfying. And I'm I am picky like that. So then you just wanna click when you've done moving it. And we're gonna connect this BSDF by drag clicking to the surface right there. Now you can see it's gonna say shaders compilation right here. And you're gonna give it a sec. Nothing's changed yet, don't worry about that now. We're gonna add the texture. So I'm gonna move this over to the side right here by middle clicking. And now we're gonna find our textures. That's gonna be inside of that folder on our desktop. So we're gonna go into our characters, player, male, medium, bodies, M, med, parallel, comic, and then textures. Now here we have a few different textures here. We're not gonna mess with these ones right here. These do not matter at the moment. And we're just gonna find these ones that say body on them. So we have body D, body FX, body M, body N, and body S. So we're just gonna drag in all these one by one because for some reason Blender doesn't have a feature that lets you drag them all in at once. Don't know how it's not a thing yet, but it isn't. All right, so once you have all of these, I'm just gonna move them a little bit closer. Now, notice how this one here starts with D. It ends with D right here. Notice how there's one for diffuse. So if it wasn't obvious, you wanna connect that color to the diffuse. And then we also have this one that says M right here. This, believe it or not, connects to mask. M for mask, I know, big surprise. You can see here the textures are slowly appearing. Just give it a minute to load. You can see that it does look a little bit weird at the moment, but we're gonna fix that. Then you wanna connect the effects to the sheen mask. Now the N and the S are not the same. You wanna change the N to non-color as well as the S to non-color. Then you just want to move this one to normal and then this one to specular. And now if we zoom in over here, you can see it looks pretty good. All right, now let's move on to the head by clicking on the head. Press use nodes. And we're basically just gonna do the exact same thing again. We're gonna import that FN shader, move this into place and then just add the textures like we normally would. All right, so now that we're done texturing this, we can just move this all the way down because we're not gonna use it again. And now you can see this looks pretty good. Now there are a few tips you can just use to make it look a little bit better. If you go to this tab right here, you can turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections, and that does make it look quite a bit better. All right, now we're not done yet. Now we need to connect the bones so we can actually pose it, because right now, if we try and pose it, it's not gonna work. All the bones are gonna do absolutely nothing. Notice on this menu right here, we have the face accessory, or the head bones, and then we have the body bones right here. 
So I'm gonna click on this one first, and then I'm gonna shift click onto the body. Basically, you wanna move top to bottom. So if your skin had a hat, you'd wanna select the hat first, and then the head second, and then the body last. Just a lot of people couldn't figure this out in my last point tutorial, but you need to have your cursor on the viewport, which is this area where you can see your character. If you have your cursor anywhere over here, this part won't work. So just make sure your cursor is over here, and then just press Control J. And now the bones have merged, as you can see, it's all one armature. Now we're still not done. Next thing you wanna do is make sure you have your bones still selected. Press tab on your keyboard, and all the bones are gonna get little dots on the end of them. Then you just wanna open up this by clicking the arrow, and then open up this AD right here. And notice how it has two roots. So what we wanna do is you wanna find this bone right here. This is the spine 05. You can see what bone you have selected right over here. It says spine 05. And you want to click on it until you find spine 05 underscore 001. All right, click on it twice and you can see your spine 05 dot 001. Now I'm going to click select similar suffix. And it's going to select a few bones here, as you can see. Then you just want to press X and bones. Now that deletes all the duplicate bones because we do not want a duplicate set of bones. So now notice we have all these bones here. We need to parent these to their correct bone. So we'll start from the top right here. We have the lower arm L. Now that lower arm L is gonna to connect to this upper arm L right here. So we just wanna click on the lower arm L, go to this bones tab, open up relations, and then type upper arm, and here I have L. Now that's gone from the list as you can see. We have upper arm twist 02L. I'm gonna open up this, go to relations, and this is going to connect to the upper arm twist 01L, like this. Then we have this deform elbow FR underscore L. You wanna connect to, you wanna connect this to the deform underscore elbow BKL right here. And then we have our thighs right here. These are gonna to connect to the pelvis. And then this deformed pelvis is also going to connect to the pelvis. All right, so now all you wanna have it left at is the root bone. Then you just close out of this, close out of this, and we're good here. Then you just wanna go back to object mode by clicking right there. Click on our model, and we want to go to this tab right here. And by default, it's not going to have anything here. This thing is going to be red. What you want to do is click right here and click on this one. And then we're going to do the same thing for the head. If it hasn't been done already, as you can see here, it's done, it has been done automatically, so we're good. All right, now everything should be good. We should be able to pose the model. Let's do a quick test and click on the bones. We'll press Control Tab and let's try and move stuff around. As you can see here, Working fine. We'll try moving the arms around. Works fine. We'll try the neck. Works fine. Clavicles work fine. And the legs also work fine. All right, so yeah, there we go. We have our model ported. Um, of course, if you do want to use your model again in another project, you wanna to go to file, make sure your external data is set to automatically pack resources and then press save as and just save it as a blend file you can call it whatever you want i just name it spider man if i were you all right so that's it for the porting tutorial hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye